did this happen? When did we get an invis on Soul Steer? Oh, I guess we had the, the Valkyrie ult, and now Fresh is going to make a mad dash for this Soul Steer. Run, 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 run. He's probably going to... Yeah, oh, that's so close. <laughs> oh, is that what he has? Oh, he has a Maka yeah. Brilliant. Uh, looks like Hellbringer's going to survive with the eye, but... Uh, <laughs> that that fresh goes down. So you're talking about these mistakes. Well, there there's a little bit of a mistake there. That was literally a, all five heroes dead on the side of MSI. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Fresh is thinking, but he really tries to be a madman on his madman because item choices seem to be really mad. He seems like, pretty mad right now <laughs> with yeah. the, the chat. Yeah, I just don't know. Like, he first goes like a super supportive item, which I can kind of see because the mana regeneration is very important. And then he gets a storm shirt, which I kind of can see because the mana regeneration is very important. But then he gets a um, Mark of Brilliance, which we all know is, is good, but you should get it relatively early on, like 25 minutes in. Maybe 30, but 37 is just way too late. But Fresh is like, oh, I don't care, I'm just going to pick it up anyway. That almost sounded like Fresh himself. You're right. No, no, uh, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, don't worry. So do I. I I've heard Fresh cast before. It does not sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger whatsoever. So, yeah. So now, 3819. We do have a little bit of item completion. Uh, Valkyrie has her firebrand. We had a whole bunch of gold accumulated there to that soul steer and a glowstone for chippers. So. I don't know, Icon of the Goddess, or maybe a Frostwolf Skull down the road. Other than that, though, I mean, we still don't even have a portal key on any members of Empire game. It looks like Hellbringer's about to get uh, picked on. Wow, that was a 1,000 crit coming out of Gladiator. Did you see that? He he just crit whipped, and he, he died. That was it. That That's what happened there. Yeah. That was insane that <laughs> damage. But we kind of saw this coming with, with his build. As I said, the level 4 crit shards with uh, the Assassin Shroud and the crit whip. I mean, that, it's, it's a ridiculous amount of damage. Yeah, and the point is, it's, it's true damage, so it doesn't even get reduced by magic armor. So if you want to, you know, get that into magic damage, that is actually just right about 1,300 damage magic damage you know with natural reduction that's so insane it's so powerful true damage is so powerful and that's why you don't play around with true damage a lot and I tell you who's playing around soul steer uh, popping that shrunken head but it does not go through those ultimates boys and girls as uh, he goes down again so 4019 they're down their biggest player right now unique phaser goes down to that you know, great MSI gank, and I don't, the, the the vision afforded by this shiver here really allows them to get right past that tower, and they just take down Hellbringer yet again. There goes that Magnus, molting, uh, molting, uh, molting. Yeah, sure, he's molting into molten as he goes down. It looks like they're going to be cracking this base. This is uh, really, I think, the nail in the coffin for Empire. Simp I mean, they I really do believe it is just more of an issue of allowing MSI to play a lot of their strong combos. Like, I, I really don't know what the bans were. I have no idea, so I can't comment on that. But, you know, giving Fresh Pro his Madman, giving Trixie his Gladiator, and Tundra. I mean, like, these are three signature MSI heroes that uh, really you should try to, to stay away from at least a little bit, right? Yeah, definitely. Especially since nowadays um, there are not that many perma bans. Like Hero said, you need to ban out of the way because they're so super strong. And um, yeah, we see just lots of kills going down. <laughs> kill, but kill, kill. Anyway. I don't see a smack yeah, trick, like, but uh, kill, kill, kill. Yeah, it's all lots of kills going down, but that's like inevitable. Uh, genocides, whatever. Um, what I was just gonna say is that Soul Steer actually, you know, the shrunken head for him doesn't do very much because um, because you got like Tundra's ultimate, which is superior magic and thus goes through uh, the the shrunken head, and of course, you know, Andromeda swap, which is so good. Like, ever seen a Soul Steer jumping in somewhere trying to ult, and while the you know animation's going off. Uh, uh, Andromeda swaps him out. It is so ridiculously funny because you can feel the rage through the internet coming <laughs> from that soul seeker. Just want to stab it you in the so face good. for that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> no. And it's so good, and that's why, like, the shrunken head is a good pickup. Don't get me wrong. 
but it, you know, he should have worked very strongly towards the Nolso, and I think that would have definitely helped him out and made him just that much more tanky. Well, it but, doesn't seem to matter for this game. 46-19 is the final score. GG coming out out of Empire Multigaming as a serial killer double tap comes out for the Madman. But uh, no smack tricks, doesn't count. Hardy, har, har. But that is that is that is the game. A really, really strong showing from MSI against Empire here in the semifinals of this UNGL uh, Han Cup. I believe it's Han Cup number three. Yes, seven hundred dollar prize pool. MSI is going to go on to fight uh, whoever won versus the other semifinals, which was what o Old Kingdom versus Go. Right? I think it was Old Kingdom. Yeah. So yeah. they'll they'll face whoever won there. Yeah, we should go watch that. Oh, this was a good game. I liked it. Yeah, Very one-sided, but MSI showing, you know, why they should go to DreamHack, why they should be number one, and hopefully they're going to see a little bit more of a, a stiffer competition coming out of Empire as they can solidify their lineup uh, at the DreamHack. So, uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you play this game. I am Forecourt Jester. With me tonight, Luke DeRiff, our senior strategy specialist himself, as the throne goes scattering into a million pieces. So, Luke, thank you for joining me uh, tonight, and uh, let's go on to the next game. Okay. okay. All right. Peace. See you guys later. I don't know.